Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. About two weeks or so ago, I posted a video that Microsoft had applied another compatibility hold and safeguard block on some devices from being offered the Windows 11 22H2 feature update. And the reason for this, as I mentioned in that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, this was due to some games and apps that might experience lower than expected performance or stuttering on the Windows 11 2022 feature update. Now, just a quick video, um, just to keep you in the loop, so to speak, uh, in this regard. And if you did suspect that you were um, not being offered the feature update because of this game performance issue and these gaming performance issues, Microsoft has recently updated their known issues page for that issue lower than expected performance in some games. And this was last updated on the 23rd of November, which was yesterday in my region. Now, if we head down to this paragraph, this is the important bit. Microsoft notes November the 22nd, 2022. The safeguard hold has been updated to only safeguard Windows devices, which have one of the small subset of games and apps which are still affected by this issue. So although um, they haven't completely lifted the safeguard hold, um, the majority of users that were affected by this issue will now be able to upgrade to the feature update. And at this stage, it's only limited now to a small subset of games and apps which are still affected by this issue. So um, there should be a lot more devices now being offered the feature update. And Microsoft says if you have no other safeguards that affect your device, it can take up to 48 hours before the upgrade to Windows 11 is offered. So just take note of that. And um, as mentioned, if you did suspect maybe that you were affected by this issue, what I would suggest is just restart your device, which could speed up the lifting of that safeguard hold, and then just come back and check for updates and give it a couple of days if you're not seeing it already. And, and there is a good chance now that you will be offered the feature update through Windows Update for Windows 11 version 22H2 if you haven't seen it already, if you have no other safeguard holds that have been applied to your device. So thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.